morning, Ninja Nation! Sandy C's here, and I'm all wet because we're talking about water. Oh, that's from the refrigerator. Oh, we're talking about water today. All right. Oh, warm pool, cold fridge water. ALS challenge. Woo. All right. So, what's up, guys? Sandy C's here. Got the pool up for summertime. Well, it's more the size of a double si double wide bathtub, really. But it does the trick. 200 bucks at Wally World keeps me cool after doing the lawns. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about water and how important it is, okay? And preparing for SHTF, the shite to hit the fan. Okay, so basic stuff. Humans need food, water, and air, okay? Let's go through it. Air, to secure your air, you gotta have some military training and a ton of money, you know? Some serious air stuff in your house, whatever. I'm not in that. You know, if I, had, if I was a millionaire or had a bunch of money, you know, yeah, maybe I could think about that. But that's not me and maybe you don't either, so I'm just out of that, okay? So that leaves us down with food and water. We've been stocking the beans, we've been stocking the rice. Hopefully we're looking at how to can. I've got videos on my channel. Um, check it out. Oh, hey, guess what? I always forget this. Please hit the like real quick. Please hit the like, guys. Uh, share and subscribe this stuff. It's getting real. We all know what's happening now. So it's time to get prepared. Let's make it easy. So, food and water, we're down to that. Well, check this out. A human can go 30 to even upwards of 60 days without food. If, if. Big ol' if, if you have an adequate quality water supply, okay? So you can literally go two months without eating as long as you have enough water. Okay, that can be absolutely life-saving when things come down to the wire, okay? Food, or I'm sorry, how long can you go without water? With an adequate supply of food. Well, really about three or four days is it, and that depends on your climate. If you're stuck out in the desert, you got about three or four, well, you're dead. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can go three or four days without water. That's it. So, of our three things, food, water, air. Air, of course, is most important because you can't go more than a minute without it. But to control our air quality is takes a lot of money and resources. So for that, I'm out. But water, super easy, okay? So... You gotta also think of your climate. Where are you? So I'm in Florida. I can literally, a quarter mile down the road, maybe a tenth of a mile, right on my street is an old artesian well. I know how to pop that sucker if I need to. Heck, even where I'm standing right now, if I dig down two feet, I will find water, okay? So for me, it's not a question of acquiring a water source, it's filtering cleaning that water okay the other thing in Florida if you have real humid client climate dehumidifiers yes but those require power but you can look up uh, what are they solar stills they have them for like the ocean and stuff like that basically imagine a plastic umbrella with a bucket underneath as the humidity collects hits that umbrella rains and drips down into the bucket okay so the first thing you need to do is figure out how you're gonna get your water you need your source of water do you need to dig a well? Do you need to dig a pond? Do you have a pond? Do you have a spring? Do you have some source of water? Okay, deep wells I know can get very expensive. You're pulling up fantastic artesian water, nothing better. But for about a tenth of the cost, you can do a shallow well. Yes, you've got your metals in there. You've got other chemicals and things, but that's where a good filter can come in. Okay guys, so when it comes to water, this is the most important thing that you can control. Air's the most important, but it's kind of out of our, uh, out of our con pardon me, out of our control. Okay, but we can control water. So you need to secure a source of water, a source. Okay, once you secured that source, you know where you're gonna get it. Heck, when stuff hits the fan, guess what? This pool covering it up. This becomes a source of water. It also becomes a humidifier collector. I can 
throw a tarp over it, dome it, let everything drip, catch right in the pool. Okay, then from there, you got your water filters. Okay, so there's a lot of different ways to do water filtration. Oh, quick bonus too. When it comes to water, here's another item to have prepped. Okay, I'm not endorsed or anything by them, but I use this, literally plugged up my pool with it filled up. Awesome stuff. You may have a leak that comes in when stuff hits the fan. It's good to have something to be able to fix it. Okay, that was a quick little commercial for something I'm not sponsored by. No affiliate. Okay, so you've got your source of water. You're either gonna dig a well, a pond. You're gonna figure out how to collect uh, humidity. You're gonna do that. Okay, so you've got your water, but now it's all filled with grossness, dead rats and fluoride and chlorine and all this other metals and stuff, sulfur. Okay, so you need filtration, all right? I too recommend what the Ninja recommends because I've now been using it uh, for over, it's about, about a year and a half. I've had this guy here, the little, you know, looks like this, okay? It's a good mix between price and convenience or ease of use. I've got this one here, you know, this was with filters, I wanna say with two years worth of super high-end survival filters was like 300 bucks. 300 bucks for two years of clean drinking water is not a big deal. I would call that pretty darn budget friendly. You know, 150 bucks a year, what's that, 11, $11 a month or something? For water, for one of the most important things on earth you need, more important than food, as we went over, okay? Hey guys, please hit the like, share, and subscribe. Water is a big deal, okay? So you want to acquire some filters. No, I'm not sponsored by them. I'll include the Ninja's affiliate link. He has one, but I endorse these. I'm not paid or anything, but they work super well. You can put of course, you're going to use them up. I've tested food coloring through them, coffee. I mean, whatever you put through it, it doesn't matter. It filters it out. You could go to the, you could go number two in the top of the thing and drink what comes out the bottom. They're that darn good. I think they, on their website, it's like 255 contaminants are eliminated with this filter. If you compare the b Ritas, you know, at Wally World and every college dorm, those partially filter out 15 potential contaminants. So a massive difference in quality there. And one of these is only twice the cost of those cheap, crappy b Ritas. okay? So get some water filtration, all right? Now, I'm not gonna say the b Ritas are bad. You know what I'm saying, I'm saying bread. I'm saying bread. But those b Ritas, those aren't bad either because here's the thing. You know, if I start using this pool, you know, it becomes a cesspool, scummy. I don't want to put that real nasty water into my good filter. What I want to do is run it through a series of filters. So run it through a series of cheap filters to get the main junk out of it. And then when it's at least somewhat clean or clear, run it through your high-end filter. Make sure you get out all the microbiotic, the, yeah, the microbiotics and all the, the small contaminants and things like that. Okay, the real danger, nasty stuff. Okay, also, things to get to. Okay, you can make, you know, this Berkey here, yeah, it was a couple hundred bucks and then the filters and all that, okay? But look online, they're called Berkeys, B-E-R-K-E-Y. But you can make them all kind of ways yourself for 20 to 50 bucks, essentially. Um, okay, you can get things like this, activated, activated carbon. Okay, there's a ton of this stuff available. This was actually online on sale thanks to the Financial Preppers uh, Telegram. If you don't follow the Financial Prepper, at Financial Prepper on Telegram app, do that. That is where we talk some real prepping stuff and get a little deeper, nitty or gritty uh, than the basic kind of stuff I'm doing here. But look up ways to filter water. There's a ton of it. Coffee filters, cheesecloth, any of these fine mesh things. You got your carbon, boom, you run it through it. It's gonna take those big contaminants out. And then, better yet, if you have one of these, it's certified, you know what it does. I know what it does, I've been using it. The Ninja's been using it for 10 plus years, actually 11, because he's been saying 10 years since a year ago, so that would make it 11. 
But either way, you need high, you need good filters, okay? That is the single most important thing you need. Before you need silver, gold, before you need food, before you need anything else, you need water. With adequate water, you can live without food for up to two months, up to two months, okay? That can be an absolute lifesaver. We're not talking about buying a few minutes or a few hours even. We're talking about buying two months worth if you run out of food. That's amazing. I mean, in those two months, you can learn how to hunt and kill and catch some rabbits and squirrels or something, okay? So folks, Sandy She will give you one more hair wave. Oh yeah. And I'm out. Oh yeah, go have a great day and please hit the like.